Oh, you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, yeah? the voice of hardcore boxing. And I'm afraid <coughs> it's that time again. It's weapon of the week time. Oh shit, I left my cash card. Weapon of the week. <laughs> They get me knackered if they weren't in the bag. Uh, it's that time again, I'm afraid. You've done it. There you go. Right, we can go now. It's that time again, weapon at week, now that we're full of screen wash. Uh, and this week's weapon of the week is Billy Joe Saunders. The reason Billy Joe Saunders is weapon of the week, well we know that don't we? We know what we know what's been going on, don't we? It's not first time, won't be last. It's getting a bit boring now. Is he doing it on purpose to be like Mayweather? To be hated to draw to draw crowds? I don't know, because he doesn't sell a ticket, does he, Bill? He's not a big ticket seller. Is he doing it for that reason? Is he doing it to be different? I don't know. But who cares? But what we're going to do, we're going to dissect the Billy Joe Sona's situation now while I go look for a cash machine that works. Because there doesn't seem to be many. Uh, I don't know what, what goes through Billy Joe Sona's head at times. Is he a good boxer? Yeah. Is he undefeated? Yeah. Who is he, 29 and 0? 14 stoppages. He boxes everybody's ears, doesn't he? Billy, he boxes everybody's ears off, but it's getting a bit boring now, this, 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 this outside of boxing, this carrying off. Getting a bit boring, I think. And uh, what what I'm amazed about is that he hasn't had a proper elite fight. I mean, who's his best win? Eubank. You know, you could say a draw or a round to Eubank. Could you get to Bill by a round? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not so sure because you've got John Rawlins and Barry Jones hanging out at the back of him because he's because they were bo bo their box nation, aren't they? So I don't know, but what I do know is this, Billy Joe is wasting his talent, he's wasting his talent and it's a shame, it's a shame, uh, I'll talk to him in it. That's up to Billy Joe, but the way I look at it is, Wasting his talent, wasting it. But what can you do? It's one of them things, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? People keep saying, well, it's boxing, isn't it? It's a business, isn't it? He's trying to promote himself. Look, we know about the coronavirus one, we know about this latest one, don't we? Going on a bit while well, he's hitting punch bag. And we know about all the other misdemeanors, don't we? I mean, I've heard horror stories in Sheffield. Billy's a wild man, isn't it? He were wild in amateurs. Him and Frankie Gavin took a chase, didn't they, down Attercliffe and police got him. I think Billy were driving then. Uh, they told old Bill to F off and that, didn't they? It's all laddish behaviour, but when you're close to earning the millions that he's going to get, why would you want to throw all that away? With Tyson Fury's towing the line, now he gets it, doesn't he? I think sooner or later Billy Joe will get it, but for now, as I've just said there, it's that time of the week, Billy Joe Saunders, weapon of the week! But who's his best win, Chris Eubank? John Ryder? They're not world champions, are they, if you want to pick bones out of it? Eubank's two-time IBO world champion, WBA regular champion, or is it interim, whatever it is, but 
they were all gifts. John Ryder should be world champion with Ring Magazine belt. Uh, but he isn't, so that's the facts that we're dealing. He isn't a world champion. Now, I'm not sure if Ryder's got the into him or the regular, I'm not sure. Think about me. Into him or something. But the way I see it is this John Ryder, Eubank, Andy Lee, like middleweight, wasn't it? But he thought he were world champion in the middle, but Andy Lee. That were life and death apart from knockdowns, wasn't it? Who, who else is there on that record? David Lemieux. They're all like borderline B class. There's no A class and there's no elite on there. Billy Joe's been protected, just like Tyson were until he got to Vladimir. Protected. Protected fighter with a padded CV. That's the bottom line. Where he beat everybody in front of him, a bit like Callum Smith, but Billy Joe and Callum Smith had been guided. You could say correctly, but Frank didn't make no money off Billy Joe, did he? So I don't know what's gonna happen, but what I do know. What I do know is that Billy Joe Saunders weapon behaviour. Even bigger weapon we behaviour from Eddie Hearn, but I can't keep putting Eddie Hearn as weapon at me, but this is how I look at it. Eddie Hearn and all them people around him, they're embarrassed by Billy Joe, embarrassed. But they're not going to throw him under a bus like they did O'Hara Davis, are they? No, 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 no. Not when they're looking at 20% of Billy Joe on the Canelo card, plus anybody else they can put on undercard, Plus the slice that pay off Dazone and Matthew. Eddie Hearn could end up with four million. Could end up with four million pound out of that Billy Joe Canelo fight. If it's a rematch, there's eight million at stake. Big bucks, big bucks. So you they wheeled out Eddie Hearn, like I said on Porky's Corner. They, they would do. They wheeled him out, and what did they say? He said he's big hearted. This and that, blah de blah. You've not seen Johnny Nelson or any of Ingle lads come out and say Billy Joe's got a big heart, have you? Why is that? I'll tell you why, because they're all horror stories that have gone on up there. Horror stories. Let me tell you now. So, horror stories. So, Billy Joe, weapon of the week. Weapon of the week. <laughs> Enjoy your award, Billy. If you don't agree with it, get my number off people in boxing industry, Billy. Get it off Dennis. Or send your number to Dennis. And I'll have you on channel and you can tell me why you're not a weapon of the weed. But the good thing about this, Bill. Bill. The good thing about it is it just might give you the kick up the arse that you need to sort yourself out because the longer this coronavirus goes on, the further you are away from getting your 30th fight or 30th win. That's how I look at it. Look at it. So peace out. Josh pulled off the plane. We may be getting a 24 hour holding. Just waiting to find out now because they think we've got it. They said it's not a laughing matter. I said whoever your mate is, it's not funny. Um, Joe, whichever phone you use, bro, I swear to God, get rid of that. And this ain't a joke, I swear my Thomas James' life, this is not a fucking joke, bro. We're not on the flight, the flight's took off, it's gone. It's fucking half 12 here. They, um, now we're under, no matter uh, where we go at the airport, we're under severe scrutiny, under severe security, because Delta take it very fucking seriously. They're not impressed with us, they think we're in on it. Yeah, well, all I'll do, on a serious note, whoever phone it is, just fucking don't answer to fucking calls. No, I just don't answer the calls. Yeah, that is pay as you go. But anyway, Billy Joe, well done. Your fucking plan worked. We're now not going anywhere. And we could be getting out here for 24 hours. On a plus side, I've had a corona test and I ain't got it. Um, but yeah, we're fucked, bruv. Right? We're in fucking serious trouble. Like, they're not laughing. Man come over and had a fucking serious go at us. And he said, look, you... I ain't done nothing wrong. Wait up. Oh, I got to stop for a second. I run up the airport. No one. Tom, Tom, I said Tom. 
What are you flying to? He went, I'm flying to New York. I went, no, you're not. Show me your flight details. He showed me, I screenshot it, I rung the Delta Airlines up and said, I'm a friend of Tom Dillon's, he's got coronavirus and he's getting on the plane. It's... I was on FaceTime to him. The announcement came Can Tom Dillon come to the checkout? He's an old face now, that's my name, he went. Oh, don't. Could you imagine Billy Joe doing that to Jimmy Tibbs and Mark Tibbs? Or to Peter Fury, or... And getting away with it. But he's done it to Ben Davidson and them, honey. So... Well, that, them, lad, them lads there, so... That's because the tail's wagging the dog, in it. You know, whatever happened to the trainer being in charge at fighter and guiding him? This is what happens when you're a young trainer and you want to start training world champions. They're not going to respect you at all. You're just going to be a whipping boy. That's all that's going to happen here, whipping boy. So... Go and train somebody from debut, Ben Davidson and Dom, wherever your name is. Dom Dingle, I forgot what name it was then. Go train somebody from debut and earn the respect. Because Billy wouldn't have done that to Jimmy and Mark Tibbs, let me tell you now. But that's bully behaviour. That's not a laugh, that. That's just pff, throwing the, the other, the, all the other stuff that's gone on. and pff, He's wasting his talent. Wake up, Billy Joe, you're wasting your talent. You liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.